hello and welcome to another video as i promised i was going to make a video about the kings from the viking age and here we go the first king ivor wide embrace he was followed by harold war tooth who died about uh, 750 and these are kings from the Icelandic sagas he was a nephew of Ivar he was followed by another nephew of Ivar Randver then we have Sigurd Ring who was the son of Randver <coughs> he's quite interesting uh, Snorri Sturluson claims he was the uh, father of Ragnar Lothbrok, but as you see, he was a king around 750 770. Ragnar Lothbrok raided Paris in 845, so forget about that. That he, he was the father of Ragnar Lothbrok, it, uh, it's not chronologically correct I think let's see the next king first and the vengeful was the next king he was the son of uh, Harald War Wartooth and he was driven away by Ragnar Sigurdsson who was the real son of Sigurd Ring Ragnar from Ragnar Sigurdsson, the prince uh, from the Ragnar's Droppa. Uh, I placed him here. He was a prince and presumably he was a king after that. Uh, looking at the next generations, he was uh, a king probably. And after that, we have Bjorn. I've not been able to separate him from Bjorn Ironside. Uh, perhaps Snorri made a mistake. Um, he he knew about uh, King Ragnar and his son Bjorn, and he mixed uh, them together with Ragnar Lothbrok and his son Bjorn Ironside. Uh, that's plausible I think so anyway I think Bjorn was a king or at least he was the father of the next king Erik Bjornsson uh, and you see these three kings have no dates I, they reigned in the late 700s I think or thereabout who was followed by Erik Revelsson, who was a nephew of Erik Bjornsson. Then we come to King Bjorn here. He was our first historical king. He reigned about 830. And he was the son of Erik Bjornsson. And uh, uh, he co-reigned Sweden with his brother on and Uppsala who was driven away but came back in 844 to try to reclaim his part of Sweden but he was unsuccessful I think uh, and he was followed by Olof a historical king then we have a king after that called Erik Emundsson and that's kind of a problem because he's uh, claimed by Icelandic sagas to be king of Arn and Uppsala but uh, and uh, Arn and Uppsala's name is historical uh, both in Icelandic sagas and historical chronicles so his name is secured and the name Eamon is also <laughs> or also secured um, because the name Eamon is carried through 
the generations to come of the royal line. So he was probably not a son of Arnand, but I would uh, uh, guess that he was a nephew of Arnand Uppsala. Yes, uh, the next king was the son of Erik called Björn Eriksson, who was followed by King Ring, the best king name ever, King Ring. Anyway, that was the date 935. He co reigned Sweden with his sons Erik and Emund. And his name is interesting because I think it was probably named after Sigurd Ring. And he's followed by his son, or his, uh, his son co reigned with him around 935. And as you see here, uh, Ragnar Lothbrok raided Paris in 845. There is just no place for him here in the royal line of Sweden among the Swedish kings. And these are historical kings, so bye bye Ragnar Lothbrok from the royal line of Sweden. Let's continue. The next king is. Uh, the other son of King Ring, Erik Ringson, and he uh, probably was a king in the late 900s. Uh, he was followed by his son, Emund Eriksson. I said late 900s, but between 935 and 950, approximately. Uh, who also was a historical king, Erik Emundsson. The next king was his son, Olof, in the 970s. Then we have the first official king of the royal line of Sweden, the first king, Erik the Victorious. So there are at least 19 kings before Erik the Victorious that are disregarded by the official uh, historians, and that's typical Swedish, I think. Uh, anyway, let's continue. He was followed by his son, Olof Tax King. Now we have more historical, uh, historical, all are historically secured. He was followed by his son, Arne Jakob. And this is the last king of this family, Eamon the Old. So you, you see the name Eamon was carried all the way to the last king. And he died at 1060. And that's kind of appropriate uh, because the Viking Age ended at around 1060. They say 1066, but around that time. So the, this, these are the kings of the Viking Age of Sweden, according to me. And uh, if you have some additional informa information to add, please make a comment. If you want me to make more historical videos, I will make them anyway, but uh, you can subscribe. And I will thank you so much for watching this long video. 
and see you next time.